Welcome back, beautiful collective. Let's see what the universe wants you to be aware of, guys. Thank you for joining me here. Thank you for your generosity. You're so deeply appreciated, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, Jesus. Choices and decisions. This person couldn't make up their mind. They're playing mind games. They refuse to make a decision. Although this person saw you as happiness, saw that they could have a future with you, saw that they could plan with you and have a solid foundation with you. They had money on the brain. Now this person wanted, was pretending that they wanted a future with you. They were lying. They were gaslighting. They were hiding things from you. They were manipulating. And now this is justice. This is karmic justice being served. This person was immature. And it's like... Shit. Why are they so angry? Like, I don't get why they're so angry. They're so angry at so many different reasons. But when does this person ever stop to point the finger at themselves? This is their karma that they're so angry at. They're angry at themselves for the decisions and the choices that they have made. This person knew you were secure. This person knew you were solid. This person saw a future with you, saw that they could grow with you, saw that they could have someone reliable. They saw you as home. They could have had like a workplace affair or started talking to this other person. Uh, They were giving to two. And I think that this Jesus, so this person betrayed you. Holy crap. This person saw you as wife material. They did. They were in love with you. This person's nonchalant attitude. They're nonchalant. It's like... To them, 
it wasn't a big deal at the time. Them cheating on you was not a big deal. They figured you was going to explode at them, get angry at them, and get over it. Like... Yet they didn't tell you about it. They're making you guess, making everything a mystery. To them in their brain, they didn't find it was that serious. They figured that you was just going to blow up and get angry at them and you'd be back together. And it didn't happen that way. They lost you. They were nonchalant about it. Being nonchalant. That is a form of manipulation and it is a form of mind gaming you. Letting you worry about it. Letting you. They never disclosed it. They were letting you worry about it. Letting you live in fear. Letting you live in stress and anxiety. They had a nonchalant, arrogant attitude about the whole thing. And that's the bloody truth. So they're getting attention from third parties. And they kept you hanging. They were juggling. And you had to What's they waiting for? What are they waiting for? Waiting. Kept you waiting. Kept you on hold. Kept you can't make up my mind what I want. Indecision. This person's a jerk. Nonchalant. Nonchalant about their actions. Nonchalant about their choices. Nonchalant about everything. Not taking you seriously. Not taking what they did seriously. That's why they're being taught a lesson. They waited too late. This person's looking back. It's like they're going through a life review. They're looking back at their decisions, looking back at their attitude, looking back at their choices. They're reflecting. They had a nonchalant attitude about everything that they did. A self-entitlement to do what they did. Cold. Callous, really.
They kept you hanging. They kept you stressed out. They kept you... Uh, they're mind-fucking you. Playing games with your minds, your emotions. But I don't think that this person thought you would ever completely walk away. Somehow they were thinking that you were going to blow up, you were going to get angry, and that everything was going to be okay. That they could, could continue on doing whatever they were doing. Really blasé, nonchalant, sense of entitlement. This is arrogance. This is... It's narcissistic is what it is. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. It was important for you to stay in your integrity. A situation that called for honest, open communication. Spirit told this person, Archangel Michael told this person, you better review this contract carefully. And it and their angels were also giving them other solutions. You needed to recover from this situation. You did. This person was... This was too much. What this person was doing to you was too much. They were draining your energy, draining your light. Mentally, physically, and spiritually. Worrying about them. Being stressed out about them all the time. It's, it was too much. A change in direction that offers happiness. And that's what you have done. You're following your heart. You're trusting the psychic information. This person had a choice. They had a choice to make. And they chose something that they thought was going to be a better option than you. But now they reminisce about their choices and their decisions. They saw a future with you. They knew you were the one. They knew you were home to them. And I just think that this person just always counted on the fact that you would always be there. That you would always forgive them. That you would blow up, get angry. Oh, and then want them. I think that they thought that you would let them continue to juggle because you love them. 
and you walked away. And they're angry. Because it didn't turn out they lost their empress. I'm sorry. They lost the empress. It's like they're used to other energies, putting up with them and tolerating them. You being the empress, you're not putting up with being an option. You don't chase. You shock the hell out of them. They just assumed and presumed and jumped to conclusions that you would always be there. And you walked away. You were the probably one of the first people in their life that actually walked away from them. And that's why in their distorted minds, they respect you. Because you're the only one that did. Everyone else puts up with them. Everybody else allows them to do whatever they want to do. Not you. That's what makes you unique. That's why they can't forget you. That's why they can't get you off their mind. That's why they get angry like nobody walks out on me. Nobody walks out on me. And they cover their ass. <laughs> Make it look like it's your fault. What you missed out on. Nobody, nobody wins in a situation like that. They lost the love of their life. They chose something that who will put up with them so they can do what they want to do, be with whoever they want to be with. But they're discontent. Because they want the love of an empress. Or they want the love of a real emperor. They're dissatisfied. Because they're dissatisfied with themselves. They're not dissatisfied with you. They're dissatisfied with themselves. That's what they figured though. They figured that... You would just have a big blowout, you'd get angry, and you'd come running back to them saying that I love you, and you didn't do it. And now they're stuck with their choice. And that is their karma, losing you. Take care, guys.